Hi, this is going to be the second part of my videos on making this gun, this Colt 1911. So I finished off the high poly from the last video and I'm just going to be working on this top bit here. I've sped this up because it's quite a uh, torturous and repetitive process. So I'm making the low poly here. What I'm going to do is start with the main body of it and I'm just detaching that so that I can work on that on its own. And when you're doing converting things to a low poly, sometimes you'll find that there are bits where it's just faster to, to remake it completely from scratch. So the front and the back of this, I think there's so much going on in terms of the topology that I'm better off just cutting off the front and the back and then I can add those in, add those back in later. I can remodel them. So I've just cut the front and the back off and now I'm just cutting the, the, the piece in half. So I can just work on half of it and use a symmetry modifier after. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the, the easy loops, the loops that aren't going anywhere, that aren't doing anything to hold the silhouette. So these are just the things that I added in so that I could turbo smooth my model. So anything that you think is going to cause you a bit of an issue to, to delete, just leave it in for the moment. Get rid of the get rid of the easy really easy stuff first that's definitely going to cause no issues at all. So when I'm deleting these loops, I'm just looking down the entire flow of that loop and checking that it isn't going anywhere. So you can see there I was just deselecting some things. Here I've left an end gone, which is fine, but I'll need to fix that end gone later. So if you end up making the odd end gone at this stage, I wouldn't worry too much about it as long as you don't really start to break the model. Okay, I think those are most of the easy loops done. So the next thing I'm going to do is delete every other loop through this cylinder. And again, I'm just checking where the those loops go. So I've left some end gones there as well that I'll need to fix up later. And I'll leave some more here towards the end once I've deleted these. So you can see that one, that poly I just selected there is an end gone. So I'm just using a dot ring to select those ones at the bottom. And I'm just checking I've got enough edges in there so that when I'm looking down the barrel of the gun, because that's what most people are going to look at most of the time if this is a first person game, I'm just checking that I've got plenty of polys in there. So I would definitely recommend for your, for your cylinders, if you're going to look down the cylinders in the game, that's definitely a good place to to uh, use some of your poly count up and and you know be fairly generous with the number of uh, the the number of edges in those cylinders. There's nothing worse in a game than looking down a gun and it's an eight-sided cylinder and it just it just looks so low poly. Okay, so here I'm fixing up some of these end gons and I'm starting to cut things into triangles. So any any edges that I don't need, anything that is not holding the silhouette. So any vertex that isn't holding the silhouette, I'm getting rid of. Here I'm just fixing up these end gons I had, so I'm just working out how I'm gonna sort out the geometry for them and then just target welding everything together to get rid of any any loops that I don't absolutely need. So again at the top at the front here, I can cut everything into little triangles and get rid of a load of the geometry. I'm just sorting out the best way of putting that bit together. So some of these things that I'm doing, I'm going to need to just check later on that I'm not causing any lighting defects. 
Now, this area at the front here, I don't think I've got enough geometry in there to follow the high poly. So what I'm doing is just putting a bright red material on my high poly model. And now I'm gonna add some more verts into this area and use those extra verts to really try and follow the topology of the high poly as well as I can. When you're, when you're doing your low poly, the, it, it's obviously it's about making sure your shading is fine your smoothing groups are fine, getting rid of as many verts as you can. But the really important thing is to make sure that you follow the topology of the, the high poly model as closely as you possibly can. You want to get the two things exactly matched up onto the surface. The, the closer you get those two things, the easier your bake is. Almost all problems that you'll have with your baking process are just because the high poly and the low poly aren't exactly on top of each other. So here I'm just going through and I want I want the high poly to kind of be clipping through the surface so that it's it's exactly on top. And if I do this, my bake is just going to be really easy because all I'll have to do is push the cage a tiny little bit and that'll be it. I won't have to do any messing around with the cage or anything like that. Okay, so the, the obviously the lighting on this looks awful. So what I'm gonna do is just sort out the smoothing groups. So I've auto smoothed it to start with. You can see at the front, I've got this lighting defect and that's just because there's a flat surface there that all needs to be in one smoothing group together. So I'm just gonna select all of the bottom bits and put them into their own smoothing group and that'll fix that lighting. So I've got, I've got an edge, a hard edge where I would want it and the smooth bits where I'd want those. Generally, the smoothing groups, it should be fairly obvious what to do. Uh, things should just look correct if you've got the correct smoothing groups. So make sure you haven't got any weird, weird kind of triangles running through or anything like that. Okay, so now I just need to sort out the front and the back of the gun. So I've got, uh, I need to cut a circle out of this just for the the uh, the inside of the barrel and then I'm just going to collapse some of these down I don't need so many verts in here so this is a bit time consuming but just going around and sort of target welding things up and welding connecting uh, collapsing just generally reducing the vert count at the front all of this is going to be hidden, so I just need to make sure I've got enough uh, enough edges in that circle that it kind of stays in place. So sorting out the back, this is just a case of modeling it in really. Um, I'm constantly looking at the high poly model so that I can follow the topology of that. First thing I'm doing with this, I'm just going to sort of randomly cut stuff in and not worry too much about things like uh, edge flow. I'll just I'll just cut things where I want them and then I'll sort that sort out the edges in a bit. So I'm just making sure everything is where it needs to be in terms of that high poly model. I'm using uh, I'm using constraint to edges quite a bit here just to make sure that I don't pull things backwards and forwards off the flat surface and now it's just a case of, of figuring out how I'm going to how I'm going to put this geometry together so just cutting everything into quads and tries everything together so that's pretty much done at the back now uh, it's just a case of I've only done one side so I'm just going to delete everything again put a symmetry modifier on just pull this backwards first and again now that I've done that I'm going around just really 
really carefully and making sure that everything is absolutely bang on top of the high poly model and like I keep on saying the, the, the better I do with getting this lined up with the high poly then the the better the the final result's going to be the better the bake's going to be and the easier it's going to be as well okay so i've left some engons at the front but they should be all right because they're all on a nice flat surface and that's the main bit of the gun done so now it's just a case of doing or the main bit of the part of the gun that i'm making so now it's just a case of finishing off the rest and these bits are going to be much easier they're mostly just going to be a case of reducing the uh, reducing the edges so again just getting rid of any of the edges that are just there for the smoothing cutting everything back up into nice neat triangles and quads getting rid of any verts that I don't need now again I'm putting my high, high poly on and I'm checking that my edges are exactly on top of each other so I, I, because this is a curve I'm thinking I need to add a few more edges back into this to follow that curve so you can see I'm just getting it exactly on top of the high poly model So I'm getting rid of any geometry that I'm not going to see because I don't want to have to unwrap any bits that I don't see. I've put an edge loop in there that will uh, in the inside just so that I can scale down the UVs for some of the inside of the barrel that you're not going to see. So I want it to be nice and high res just at the front where you might see into the gun. But once it starts to get right down inside the barrel that can just be a very low res image so I can scale that down in my UVs. So again, getting rid of any bits that I don't need, then just reducing the edges. Just need to be a bit careful on this piece that I'm not reduce, uh, removing edges that that are holding the, the silhouette in place. So again, with this piece, checking it against the high poly model and making sure that I'm as close to the topology as I can get. And now I'm just sorting out the smoothing groups on everything. So this one didn't quite auto smooth the way I wanted it to. I wanted to keep everything smooth going around it. Making it again, making sure that I've not got two things sticking in too much. I don't want to have to use up space on my unwrap for those. Also smoothing these few final pieces which have automatically smoothed fine. And that's it, that's the low poly done. So I'm just having a look how many verts I've got in there. So it's 886 verts for that top bit, which I'd suggest is pretty good for a next-gen gun. That's it.